Welcome to our Linvio Events tutorial video series. In this video, we will walk you through the basic setup of a conference event and demonstrate the registration process from the perspective of an event attendee. A conference event is one of several event types supported in Linvio Events, used for conferences, retreats, and other events that involve registering for classes or sessions to be attended at the event. This supports speakers, exhibitors, sponsors, and attendees. To create a new conference, you have several options. Click New Event on the Special Events tab, clone an existing event record using the Copy Event Wizard, or drag and drop on the Special Events Calendar page. The drag and drop option is the fastest option if you're starting from scratch, so we'll use that approach. Select the Event Calendar tab in Salesforce and find the type of event you want to create from the left-hand panel. In this case, we'll select New Conference and drop it to the date of the event. Linview Events will create a new special event record with just basic information on it. If you change to the day or week view on the calendar, you can also adjust the duration of the event. Click the name of the event on the calendar to open the event and start adding your specific event details. Let's set the name and description of the event and check the Including Calendar checkbox so that the event registration page and calendar will display that information to site visitors. We'll set the event time zone to Mountain Standard Time since this event is going to be held in Colorado. Setting the time zone controls the appearance on the date of the event registration page, so registrants will see that time zone instead of the time zone of the Salesforce user administering the event. Since we need to accept a payment for registration, we'll also need to set the processor connection, in this case we'll use Authorize.net, and the currency of payments we want to accept. And we have to add at least one event fee record to the event, which specifies the amount to charge for each attendee type. For this conference, we've added two, a general admission fee, in a VIP Pass event fee. We'd like to present event passes online so that attendees can bring printed passes to the event for scanned admission to the event. So we'll check the Present Passes Online checkbox. For this event, we're planning to give away a free t-shirt, so we need to collect the shirt size of each new attendee. This is configured using a custom field mapping. Click the New Custom Field Mapping button, Set the field label to shirt size, set the maps to object to attendee, and select the pick list field mapping type. We'll also need to set the pick list options to small, medium, large, and extra large. Save that record. Now set the maps to field using the field mapping widget on the field mapping detail page. We also need to have at least one session for this conference. Click New Session. Select it as active and give it a start and end time sometime during the original time for the full event itself. You can set the time format manually here, but leaving it blank will inherit the settings from the event. Let's set a max number of attendees, and let's put in some info about the overview and details. Let's go back to the event record and add a few more details before we publish it. Set the venue name and address fields so the registration page can display a map to the event. We can also edit the landing page content. We can use HTML, rich text, or just type the info in. Let's also add an agenda for the conference so attendees can view it prior to the event. There are configuration options supporting product upsell, donations, and a wide range of other event registration features. However, this should be good enough to start taking online registrations. We'll set the status of the event to published so that it will display on the site's website for the Salesforce account. Now that the event has been configured and published to the web, let's take a look at the registration landing pages from the perspective of the attendee. Here we have the main page with the Summary, Sessions, and Register tabs. Click Register to start the registration process. Enter your registrant details. As you can see, we have our custom field here for shirt size. We'll go ahead and select a large. When you click the Submit Registration button, that will redirect you to the site checkout page to enter the credit card information. Click the Submit Payment button, which will submit the payment to the processor you have configured via Payment Connect. The checkout process is now completed. When you click the Finish button, that will redirect us to the confirmation page with the information about the attendee's registration and the QR code. Let's fast forward to the day of the event now. Mobile attendees have registered and paid online, providing us with their contact information and registration preferences. 
The attendees have been given event passes to print and bring with them to the event, but just in case they forget their passes, we're going to print an attendee list with QR codes so we can scan them quickly to check in each attendee. Select the information you want to display on the check-in, for example, all registered attendees, and show their QR codes. Click Build Check-in List PDF. That will generate our check-in sheet with attendee names, registration, and QR codes. We also want to print badges for the attendees on standard Avery name badge insert refill paper. Click the Create Attendee Badges custom link and select the registration status in the attendee category you wish to display and click Create Attendee Badges. At the event, you can now use a mobile device with a QR code reader application to scan each attendee pass or find them on your check-in sheet and update the attended checkboxes in Salesforce in real time. After the event, you can set up email workflow to thank attendees for attending, sync attended registrants with a related campaign for follow-on email blasts and future event invite lists, use Salesforce reporting to analyze event attendance, registration revenue, and other event management metrics, and use the quick clone feature to prepare for the next event in the series.